Hello, you tubianozoids. <laughs> uh, making these videos is, I mean, it's something to do. Well, today's video is about a Helios 44 2 58mm f2 lens. That's probably, this one's probably about 40 years old, give or take a little bit. But I've been having some fun with this lens. I got it a couple months ago and been taking pictures with it every now and then. And if you listen real close, hear that? It's the lens itself is loose. It's not. Let me show you this real quick. I don't like leaving my camera body open so I'll snap another lens on it but I'll take the adapter off it okay and listen this part's loose on it so I thought maybe something on the inside was loose plus it was dirty had some dust in it and stuff so I took it all apart a few weeks ago cleaned it all up and put it all together and it's I mean it's just a, a defect in the lens I guess but if, when you're out shooting with it you basically when you focus with it you basically gotta hold it so it don't move because that little bit of movement will take it out of focus but anyways this lens is really cool it's got some wild effects and when I put it all back together, if you look, the element in the end, let me zoom in on this, see if you can, look how deep the element is on the inside of this. It's pretty darn deep. I mean, this is really a cool looking lens, actually. But when I was putting the element back in, let me refocus this thing. There we go. When I was putting the element back in this thing, it flipped upside down. And I said, huh. So I, I left it like that. I put the, the element ring back in it and it just barely had enough threads to thread on. And I tightened it and it's still like that. And, and I got off doing something else and forgot about it but a couple days ago I decided to grab this lens and mess around with it a little bit and I remember that element being upside down and I started taking some pictures of plants and stuff and you're not gonna believe how they turned out this lens has some amazing effects with the element in upside down let me show you some of these pictures you'll be quite amazed it's it's beyond unique it's it's like very artistic anyways let's take a look okay I picked out four pictures I thought were pretty interesting this first one here go full screen now this one is pretty freaky looking look at it'll only focus in the very center of the frame with the element in it upside down. But look at the effects you get. I mean, this looks like a painting. I mean, this is friggin' wild. Pretty cool picture. The next one, I thought all the yellows looked pretty cool. It's a little bit blown out here, but the sun was beaming down on it. But look at the swirls you get on this. It'll only focus in about this area right here and it starts I mean it still isn't sharp even in the center but it, it it's sharp enough I reckon but look at how it just blurs out in spirals swirls you get this swirling effect I mean this I mean it is just this looks like a painting too I mean and to think I was gonna take up oil painting as a hobby when I got this wild Helios lens Anyways, that's that one. And this next one turned out really pretty with the... This purple color you see here, 
is actually was just one clump of like purple flower buds and they just somehow blurred in and blended. I mean, this is just amazing how this lens did this. But, I mean, this is a really beautiful, this lens has got a weird color to it, but it's got, I mean, it's really punchy and really saturated, but it's just, it's different. It's just completely different. And this last one, this is my favorite one here. Look at that. I was kind of like pointing the camera towards the ground, so all this brown stuff here are actually dead leaves. And I shot all these pictures at f2 with the lens wide open. And the sun was beaming down, so it was extremely high shutter speeds on all these lens, uh, pictures. Like, I think the shutter speed was like two thousandths of a second. But look at all the colors blading in this a little bit. And, I mean, just amazing. Oh, this lens will do this with the element in upside down. Well, I hope you enjoyed the pictures and the video, and I'll see you later. Bye.